What is going on there, citizens of the Reject Nation? We are going to watch the movie Friday. First time watching for both myself and, of course, Salamander, the Sally Lamanaco. Sally, how are you, my dear? I'm great. Good. This is good rapport right here. <laughs> solid, <laughs> solid opening back and forth. We have accomplished our goals today. <laughs> You've never even really heard of this movie before, right? No, I had to Google it when you told me. At first, I thought you meant Friday the 13th. I was like, did he forget to write the rest? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm excited. Yeah, it's, I've never seen it. A mid-90s comedy. Uh, it's been recommended a bunch. Yeah, it's a hard R, and uh, YouTube has been, uh, you know, really, uh, they've been delicate lately. <laughs> very, very mm. sensitive folks. So uh, if things have to be, you know, a little bit censored, please understand why we have to do it. Leave a like. That'd be very much appreciated. Uh, subscribe and click that bell for any other movie reactions we got up here on the channel. So I was covering movies again with us as of late because she lives in the NYC. Follow Sally on her own uh, YouTube channel as well. I've been putting the wrong link in the description box apparently all this time. Uh, <laughs> and lastly, full length reaction watch alongs where you sync up with your own copy of Friday available for super sexy rejects at our Patreon page, along with a bunch of other things that we covered exclusively over there. All right, Sally, you ready to ready to do this? Ready ready to get, so excited. Ready, hit, ready for me to hit play on Netflix? Hit, ready to get ready to do this? All right, we're, hit, we're, hit, let's hit, do hit, it. Let's hit, do hit, it. Hit, hit, okay. I know you don't smoke weed. I know this. But I'm gonna get you high today. Nice. Cause it's Friday, you ain't got no job, and you ain't got shit to do. He's talking to me? Fridays. <laughs> I love that. These are our, our Fridays when you lived out here in California. Oh my God, they were. <laughs> <laughs> I love that we're covering this. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like our old neighborhood. <laughs> I wonder if this is right when Ice Cube started getting into acting. I don't really know the history of Ice Cube too well. I don't either, because this came out when I was born, so. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> oh, Regina King, I love her. She's great. Oh, I love them both. <laughs> Wayne's Brothers show. Give me the TP special, lots of hot sauce, and uh, all the fries you can give me. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> what, a, what a great thing to dream about. I know. He'll be so disappointed when he wakes up. Good morning. Are you prepared for Jehovah's return? Because if you're not, I have a pamphlet for that. <laughs> well, you. <laughs> Every time. Ain't nothing in this house. Every time I come in the kitchen, you in the kitchen. <laughs> Didn't I tell you to take out the trash? I fell asleep. I wish you were sleeping right now. I'll knock you upside your head with a left hook, make your ass wake up and take out that damn trash. What are you doing? I'm throwing this away. We ain't even got no milk. You better put some water on that damn shit. <laughs> 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 throw some water on that damn shit. <laughs> like, that's what he, uh, that's so it sounds funny. like he's speaking from experience. Come in here. Where you at? Oh no. In the bathroom. Oh no. Oh man, I'll wait till you come out. Boy, bring your ass off up in here. What you talking about? You wait till I come out. I smelt your shit for 22 years. Now you can't smell mine. <laughs> now your mama told me what happened to you yesterday. How the hell are you gonna get fired? On your day off. I don't know. You need a trade. Take a look at that paper over there on the, 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 the counter there. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I ain't trying to be no dog catcher. Why not? I don't even like dogs. That's the beauty of it. I grab a dog, and I choke him, and I, I kick the shit out of him. And I and I all day long I put up a dog's ass. <laughs> 
shit. Who would marry this guy? You'd be surprised. I didn't go to the show last night. You ain't got to lie, Craig. You ain't got to lie. Ain't nobody lying. I didn't go to the show last night. Yes, you did. Because my sister-in-law's baby cousin, Tracy, she told me she went to the show last <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, why are you messing with that little fast-ass girl anyway? Now, that other girl, Debbie, she's cute. She's in school, she has all her teeth. She has <laughs> all her teeth. <laughs> you know what your problem is. You have no game. <laughs> what you know about game? <laughs> <laughs> now, your father, he got game. Don't nobody go in the bathroom for about 35, 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you better watch your window you climbing that fool before you get blasted on. With what? You ain't got nothing, man. With this. Oh, my God. You still ain't sold that weed, Smokey? Because I'm broke these days. I don't think you applying yourself, Smokey. Huh? You smoking my shit? Hell no. <laughs> now, why would I do some shit like that? I don't want to have to f you up, Smokey. Playing with my money is like playing with my emotions. Wow. <laughs> I went in there to pick up my check, came home. Supervisor called me about 4 o'clock, talking about they got me on videotape stealing boxes. What the f you doing stealing boxes for? What, you trying to build a clubhouse? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn. Man, look. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Who is she? <laughs> what you doing up so early? You know that nigga Debo don't had his bike for like three weeks, right? Right. I won. Give me my money. You what? I lost. I lost. <laughs> you want me to ask for my bike back? You know I wouldn't trip. That bike. It's right here. Follow me, homie. Yeah, it's just like it's both ours. <laughs> it's like it's both of ours. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh. That's my boy, Punk! Got it! <laughs> you got knocked up. <laughs> <laughs> this is an interestingly edited movie. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. What? Could y'all stay out for grass, please? There's <laughs> <laughs> always a neighbor. Smokey, <laughs> okay, I need you to go to the store and give me some cigarettes. Give me the money. This ain't enough. Make it enough. Damn! <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, <laughs> oh my god He's like you Damn <laughs> Miss Parker finer than I'm Damn I knocked the dust off that boot <laughs> Wow what a lot Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Parker ain't in there right man Oh, she know what she doing with them low ass shorts on. She know we be looking. Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure if you leave, you lock up the house and answer the phone. The cable people are supposed to call. All right. Oh, look at her. Now she gonna be ashamed of herself coming out looking like that. Hey, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Man, ain't nothing wrong with smoking weed. Weed is from the earth. God put this here for me and you. Take advantage, man. Take advantage. I'm in love with Mary Jane. 
<laughs> that is a lot. Oh, that's my song. <laughs> this is Michael Jackson dancing. <laughs> that up, man. Come the past. For what? Probably smoke bud too. How you doing, brother Craig? How you doing? <laughs> I'm all right. <laughs> We call a sin is sin, sin. Well, around here, between mm -hmm. Normandy and Weston, we call this here a little twin and twin twin. Wow. <laughs> a little bit for my cataract. You didn't put in on this, man. It's been to get a receipt, my brother. Look, 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 she bending over. Claude, have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, Smokey! <laughs> you. <laughs> Oh, who said you'll take it easy, eh, sir? Oh, no. <laughs> it's Angel does, homies. <laughs> so I hit it real hard, right? Angel does. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing I know, I was running down the street in my damn draw. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm in Debo pigeon coop, sweating like a slave. And the only person to get me out was my mom. Actually, a really well done shot. Yeah, it was. Oh, sh what? <laughs> oh, shit. Known for jacking the that's all he do. Damn. <laughs> it's kind of like a jazz theme. I love this genre shot so much. There's yeah. <laughs> what you got on my drink? No. Nah. <laughs> Just straight up pats people. Down. Jesus. <laughs> Dang, left this window open, man. Come on, smokers, go in. If somebody comes, we'll see. I ain't trying to get involved with y'all. You won't get involved. I'm going to knock your ass out, too. Make a choice. <laughs> Damn, the agility on him. I always caught in the middle or something. Oh, hurry up. Shoot. Sure. Hurry up. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Mr. Parker. Oh man, come on. God damn. Oh man. Oh my god. Get out of the Kill him. Get him. Oh. <laughs> Jerry ass didn't want to touch nothing. We ended the whole time arguing. So y'all didn't get nothing? Hell yeah. You got about $200, huh, D-Buck? I got about $200. You guys got to kill that, man. Yeah. Ain't like you got shit to do tomorrow. You don't have to go to work. Don't take a hit. I got a drink. Come on, crazy. Let's stimulate your mind. You ain't got shit to do. Oh, my God. Peer pressure's a hell of a thing. Reminds me of the good old days. What's gonna happen? Not gonna get a job. <laughs> like a pro. <laughs> I ain't gonna be supplying you, you're gonna be talking about my shit. Oh, shit. Wow. 
This is Felicia. Oh, this is where it came from. <laughs> the bye, Felicia. <laughs> What's up, Craig? What's up, Smokey? Nothing. Yeah. What y'all smoking on? <laughs> what the hell on? Well, let me borrow a joint. You need to borrow a job with your broke ass. Always trying to smoke up somebody's shit. Craig. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> oh, bud. Bud is kicking in. Don't start tripping, Craig. <laughs> Chris Tucker's always bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Made him smoke, and then he's like, nah, you can't be tripping. Craig! Hold up. That came a heartbeat. Man, that's what it's supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny looking. <laughs> Hold up, I don't do that gay shit now. <laughs> this is just like a hangout movie. Yeah. It's like weirdly comforting or just reminds me of being a kid and like neighborhood shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This Smokey. Debbie's home, what? And she said you wanted to hook up. What's up? Are you high? Huh? Are you high? No, why you say that? Because you look like you've been smoking. <laughs> I still look, still look high. I still look high. <laughs> <laughs> long hair, I'm thick. People say I look like Janet Jackson. For real? No shit. Janet Jackson? This is before like Tinder or smartphones, so you have to describe <laughs> what you look like. Okay, <laughs> bye. Day big. Oh, Felicia. Yeah. <laughs> she is a trip, I know. That's her sister. One time he grabbed me. No. Yes, grabbed me like this. Blue? I mean, was it like this or was it like this? I mean, I think it was the first one. It was the first one. You sure? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 hey, uh, I got to go in here <laughs> in the back room real quick. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a high thing to say when you're like, I gotta go here. Back, back here. <laughs> Wait a second. You know, my homie want to hook up with you. Who? Craig. What happened to you? Got bit in the ass today, son. By a stinking ass filthy dog. You should have seen it. <laughs> Biggest dog I've ever seen in my life. And I turned around to jump over the fence. The dog grabbed my ass. Oh my God. Was it like, <laughs> How your ass feel, Mr. Jones? Get out of my house and don't slam that door. All right, man. Gonna do. Is it the drug dealer? Yeah, it's the drug dealer. <laughs> I'm gonna be here 10 o'clock on the dot, not 10.03, not 10.36. If you ain't got my money or my bud, I'm killing you and him. Can I have my chili Fritos? Can't have shit, I'm closed, fat boy. Uh, oh my Mama. Mama! Mama! Hey. <laughs> We need to pay him, man. He crazy, man. Let's stick together. I can't believe you got me in the mix with this fool. Oh, man, I ain't put that joint to your lip and make you smoke it. Might as well. It's Friday. I'm gonna get you high. Why are you bringing up old shit? <laughs> <laughs> Can I go inside and get it? Yeah, come on. All right. <laughs> I would love to sit on this front porch. <laughs> right. Oh shit. What Greg at? Oh. Oh no, she's in the house. Oh, he in the house. <laughs> oh, you mm. dick. <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> now who is she? That's just Debbie from down the street. So, what the hell is she doing in there? She was just, just going to the house. Who's looking at? 
get your ass in the house. <laughs> All right, man, I'm gonna go to crib, man. My stomach hurt. Come back. All right. What if it just becomes like a hard hitting street drama? Sit y'all, can I use your bathroom, please? Number one, number two. Number two. Shit. You ain't gonna drop no stinking loads here. Anybody drop a stinking load, it's gonna be me. Mr. 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 Oh, man. <laughs> I'm weirdly uh, warped by this movie. <laughs> what do you mean, weirdly warped? <laughs> I'm just like. Strangely entranced by this experience. No, <laughs> I'm like, I don't. It just reminds me of neighborhoods I've lived in, and I'm just like, yeah, this is. This is such a weird hangout movie. <laughs> From over here, it look like you taking a shit. Ezell, get the hell out of my bitch oh, look, and like, let's smoke. You been eating corn, huh? Well, get the hell out of my. <laughs> you man, when you're done, I clean all that shit up for you for two dollars. Yeah. Two dollars. You got some money? What? About two hundred dollars. What you gonna give me? <laughs> you think you're slick gonna come over here and ask me for some money so ask that bitch for some money what's wrong with your hoe <laughs> what's wrong with your hoe <laughs> it's like comforting but the sand on it. it is like like the way they talk in this movie is probably the best <laughs> screenwriting I think I've ever heard in my life for accuracy <laughs> I'ma tell him you ain't had nothing to do with it. I smoked up his weed. I'ma face the consequence. If I get dealt with, I get dealt with. Friday. The Oscar moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's that for? Protection. This what makes you a man. You win some, you lose some. But you live. You live to fight another day. Wow, well, was... That was tent. really deep. Two tender ass scenes back to back. <laughs> wow. I was not I actually have a stop gun violence bracelet on right now. <laughs> uh -huh. I was like, whoa. Uh -huh. Thanks. So what? I saw the tape. We kept rewinding it. Kind of looked like you were here, but you can't really tell from the back. How you at? Oh, it's cool. Damn! <laughs> 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 I've been wondering where that clip is from. That was so good. I'm Debo. Who? Debo. They need him. <laughs> he knows him. Here he goes. <laughs> Why you tripping, Debo? Smith, don't want you getting back his chain. What chain? Yeah, what chain? Put your fists up, man. Fight him. Lose. And I got mind control over Debo. He be like, shut the fuck up. I be quiet. But when he leave, I be talking again. When my grandmama gave me that chain. <laughs> this is a roller coaster. Neighborhood has to come together to save Smokey. Hey, what's up with me and you? I was in there on the phone with Debbie and uh, what's up with Rita? Rita who? Rita that's gonna be here at 7 30. <laughs> Girl, that's my friend. <laughs> I'm triggered. That's Janet Jackson. Who? Janet Jackson! The girl Debbie hooked me up with. He about to get catfished before catfishing was a thing. Not a damn thing. <laughs> we could kick it, but I forgot I had to go pick up my mom from work. That's all right. I'll take you to get it. Nah, she don't like a lot of people with me when I go get her. <laughs> so messed up. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look, why don't you go up the street and get something to eat? I know you hungry. Lord, let me go inside. <laughs> <laughs> so 
for me. <laughs> Yeah, I ate twice before I came. God damn! <laughs> <laughs> Why you hook me up with that fat ass bald head girl? Who, Rita? Yeah. Rita, Rita is not fat. She's just big bone. Shit! <laughs> Talking about she looked like Janet Jackson. Ooh, no, she didn't go there. <laughs> yeah. Bitch got out of the car looking more like Freddie Jackson. <laughs> Don't laugh, it ain't funny. <laughs> She was in Fresh Prince. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to figure it out, too. Felicia fucking Debo, too. Could you mind your own business? Where your mama at? My mama is in Vegas with her boyfriend. So y'all just parlaying up in here, huh? Oh, shit. Party uh -huh. over here. <laughs> <laughs> Felicia and him, huh? <laughs> oh, disgusting. Oh, it's so gross. <laughs> Just leave it there. What are you doing? Why? Why? Mm. I'm in the water. Ugh. Oh my god, this guy. Smokey, what the hell are you doing in here? Shut up. Oh, <laughs> shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Be quiet. He's got so suspenseful so fast. Just when I was going to get the money, little crackhead he's there come running through the window and woke him up. Hey. I tried to beat his ass. Get that, man. Let's just go back over. He probably still asleep. For real. Yeah, you breaking in, dog. You gonna be with me? I got you, man. Let's right. go. True friendship. This movie is about true friendship. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Have him beat up the drug dealer guy. Huh? Man, y'all flusters can't catch me. Man, y'all need to come on, huh? Ah, yeah. Who the hell would you get? 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 Got the belt. <laughs> Got the belt. Hey, um, somebody, uh, hey, Smokey. Don't play dumb, nigga. You know what this is. You got my money. <laughs> I think we better stay in the house. Why don't you sell the gun? Yeah, literally sell anything. Go to the pawn shop. 200 really isn't that bad. I thought it was going to be like. A few thousand. I bet y'all drinking that wine too, aren't you? Just smoking them tweeds and everything. Wearing them old clothes all half off your ass. What the hell's going on today? Huh? Weeds. Oh. Weed. Man, ain't nobody even out here. I don't even know why I'm tripping. Somebody want to mess with the smoke, dog? Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 For two hundred dollars? Yeah, but if you adjust for inflation, it's like four hundred dollars. That's <laughs> awful. Yeah. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! <laughs> Damn, this guy's gonna get two hundred dollars. <laughs> One, two, three. You see him? Yeah, they're coming, man. They're coming. I ain't gonna ever smoke weed or shit. <laughs> <laughs> Man, don't tell me. Let me go. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> like a bomb. Joanne, you seen Craig and Smokey in there? Look at your face. It, you okay? No, look at oh, your man, face. What? You hit my sister like she was a man. Shit, I'm busy going through my pants while I was asleep. My sister don't need to steal nothing from your broke ass, all right? You lucky I'm not a man, otherwise I kick your ass myself. Shut up! Oh hell no. Uh-uh. Man, that's a female. Shut your little punk ass up, nigga, before I drop you like I did this bitch. Man, I ain't even trying to fight you, Debo. 
Bro, no. No, you won't fight me because you're in a bit of bitch too! Oh. No. What you gonna do with that? Your dad's gonna be disappointed. Put the gun down, son. Yeah! Put that gun down, son. And get knocked out like your father used to. <laughs> Whoa! What? What? Craig? Craig? Give me, give me the gun. Knock him out, punch him. Nice. Oh, you can beat him and take the $200. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> 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 Come on, man. Hey, come on. Oh, oh shit. Yes, Mr. Big Shot. No guns, but bricks are okay. Yeah, bricks are okay, I guess. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's my dog. Steal the 200. We're good. Like. Hey there, right, Mom. <laughs> I forgot to see his mom. <laughs> you got knocked the f man. <laughs> <laughs> nice. My grandmama gave me this chain. Nice. Felicia, should get in there. Oh, he got his bike back. I was just wondering if maybe if you're feeling better that um you could come over. Feeling better already. This is a long Friday. <laughs> <laughs> They've been awake for like 14 hours, I think. Yeah. That's an LA day, you know what I mean? That's right. Did he just break the fourth wall? <laughs> yeah, he's done it a couple times. Why you can't call nobody back? And which one of your hoes you messing with has somebody shooting at you? See, I don't know why I waste my time on your old stupid ass anyway. <laughs> I don't know either. It's over, bitch! <laughs> I got your money anyway. And you sell that shit yourself next time. Because I'm going to rehab. I'm through with this shit. Character development. I love it. <laughs> I was just bullshitting. <laughs> and you know this, man. Friday. We should have watched it on Friday. It's Saturday. I know. Like we're goddamn morons. We're such idiots. <sighs> I I don't think there's a post credit scene, Sally. <laughs> I uh, I'd venture to guess that it, there's It doesn't not. set up the cinema of Friday 2? Well, there is two more Fridays after there's, this, actually. Oh, I think there's... There's not a multiverse? I think there's <laughs> next Friday, and then, yeah. Uh, really? That's what it's called? Next Friday, and then... I think the Friday it, after? <laughs> yeah, I think it's... I, I think you're right. Yeah, Friday after next is... It. So it goes next Friday, then Friday after next. God, I don't think Chris Tucker returns for the other ones. Why? He was this. He was the moment. You know what I mean? <laughs> he was the moment. <laughs> I, I, I know what you. He mean. went to rehab. That's why. Uh, yeah, yeah, or they he killed him off or something. I don't know no. what happened. I'd be curious to find out though. Damn, these must be like massive ass hits. 
Anyway. Not me realizing I dated someone like Smokey not too long ago. I was like, huh. Did you really? <laughs> Listen. Desperate times. Desperate vision. Eat it. Grow your ass up, man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about it. Okay. I thought that was... um. It was so, it was different than what I expected it to be. It took me a, a little bit. You were bit. like, Sally, it's going to be dark. It's going to be darker than. than <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I thought it'd be like more. <laughs> than rush hour. I thought it'd be more edgy and shit. Like rush hour is more of like a Hollywood script, punchy comedy yeah. film. Yeah. And, and this felt like a, an interesting, like, you know, crude, rude, sassy satire. Very. Uh, few locations you know yeah it's like a hangout indie. movie yeah and i thought that was really cool that they just like made a a really solid hangout movie with these guys and it took like it took me a little bit of time to like adjust to it because i was under the impression it might just be like some some wacky comedy pretty much yeah. um but yeah. yeah it's got this Kinda like, like dude where's my car <laughs> <laughs> yeah i was expecting dude where's my car <laughs> yeah like a sketch yeah. comedy yeah um but yeah, it's got like a interesting direction, and you know, I, I like the I like the crass humor uh, that it has, and so yeah, I mean, it was it was it was interesting because it seemed to carry this like sometimes it decided to get like a little serious in certain scenes, obviously, and it yeah it would uh, which like threw me off a little bit because I was like, where's the joke? And then it didn't come, and I was like, oh wow, they're going there. I thought the ending would have more of a serious part two you know what i mean to like yeah dive in, but. yeah i thought there'd be a sir um a little bit more of a perhaps a, a serious but he got punch. the girl so he got the girl he actually wanted yeah. and mm -hmm. i i feel like the how do i put it i i, I think there's a bit of like a, a, an interesting poignancy in this film where it seems like there are some like real world like this six this came out when did it come out let me look it up really fast 1995 95 oh, that's right the year you were born yeah it came out yes. uh it came out in 1995 and it Iconic. was it was the it was sort of like having that resonating um like real world things that a lot of african-american neighborhoods had to deal with so still mm -hmm. do and mm -hmm. so so dealing with that throughout but also finding like a sense of community by the end mm -hmm. of it all which i was like this, there's something I kept saying I was like there's something comforting about it. I don't know what it yeah, was. Yeah. I I can't I can't quite put my finger on it either because about like 15 20 minutes of it I'm like I'm not really like cracking up but I'm definitely like and interested. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely invested. interested and enjoying it and I'm yes. and I'm watching and I'm really just like I, I I don't I couldn't I couldn't find the words. It took me a while but there's something that feels like while wacky but also weirdly authentic in a, in a, mm -hmm. in a, in a strange way like definitely i feel like writing from experience but then being able to um add comedy and, and kind of lighten the mood from their experiences probably living in neighborhoods like this yeah um that's how i felt it was i mean not to I feel dumb like a white person wearing a fucking stop gun violence like <laughs> guys, let's not use guns um but like I lived in a really low income area and I lived in neighborhoods like this in Florida and it kind of weirdly reminded me as a kid of like growing up with people like this and it, it was kind of we had a blast all the time and there was always weird neighborhood drama and we'd all as kids we'd be on our bikes like getting into it and like doing stupid shit and um but I can't imagine like actually having that much violence and trying to like just having it be an everyday thing because we'd see stuff but as kids but we were never like involved in it um so I just it made me kind of feel a little sad that this is definitely their reality a lot or at least that's what I'm assuming from the writing like it it just the writing sounded very authentic and just like I don't know I thought yeah. it was if, we're, if we're in that sense I'm just like I think it was well done for a, a, a smaller scale movie and for something that they're probably you know drawing from experience on I guess but making it funny and yeah they also they, they managed to have it with the the backdrop that weirdly has a 
a line of tragedy and comedy, but they also yeah. have it as a stoner comedy. And you know, yeah. like I, I, Ice Cube and, and and Chris Tucker, they do have like they do have surprise. Like there's such different, you know, you in comedy you tend to have a high energy, low energy character, or or more of the straight man and the high energy wacky one. And which there's is always duo. that duo with friends. There's like yeah. the the one that's like high all the time and like you know got a lot going on. And there's like the chill like level headed one. And it, like it's so accurate. Yeah, friendships. and I think they have they have good they they both bring a good energy to the screen, and yeah. I also think that uh, yeah, I mean, in a lot of ways, it's, it's more of Chris Tucker show in here, and he's really. I'm sad so funny. he's not he's not in the other ones, really. I don't think so. That's what I've been trying to find out while we've been talking. I, I've been looking. I've been like looking good, into it. <laughs> it was like a good buddy comedy. Like I'm, I feel like they had really good chemistry. It's hard to imagine the next one without him not in having it. him in it. Yeah, just his facial expressions alone were so funny to me like he's like the 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 person in your head you know the things that you want to say and the the way you want to react but you like have to polish yourself down and yeah not, yeah <laughs> be that person there's a weird sense of being a, a slice of life kind of film yes. to it i don't know i yeah, feel like yeah, yeah, yeah. Are, are, no, we, are we talking deeper about the movie that's really just an offensive hangout movie because mm. <laughs> there are parts of i don't me think that... it's that deep i think people are gonna rip us to shows like please fucking white ass people because it's it's simple but there's also something admirable about uh, like f gary gray's direction with this was at times so like because yeah this is like the, he's, he's eventually gone on to do like massive freaking films but but here, you know, it, it's, it feels incredibly low budget. Uh, but there were times where I thought he really leaned into like certain genre tropes that I thought were impressive, and he he yeah. managed to ring out a, 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 a with a movie that was like, okay, so this is just like a, a like thirty minutes into it, like, oh, this is just a movie about like random instances of things that are happening on a Friday that night. That kind of all like tie in at the end. Yeah, that's exactly. Good. That's what was impressive to me. It all like coalesced together by the. And then it and it got a, a little real worldy at times, and and yeah. and it had a and had a sense of tension. And I did find, as I was like, what exactly is happening in this movie? It took me a while to, to adjust to it. And then even Same. by the end, with Ice Cube you know, as, as Craig, when he does have that fight, and he like arcs into being a man, like finally being able, because he's like he's twenty two, he's he's just a child at home. And then you're he, by the end of it, he's like, okay, this is setting him. I don't know what the sequels do, but mm. at the end of this, it's like, oh, okay, setting him on a path to really be a man finally. And yeah. and so I, I was like, oh, there's actually even like a good character arc for this guy yeah. that I didn't even really see coming. So yeah, I was I was surprised, and it wasn't like I was cracking up for most of it. Um, no, but it was entertaining through and through. Not a dull moment for me. Yeah, that's what um, I mean. Like yeah. it, because you're just kind of wondering why everything is happening and like why are all the, why all these characters are introduced and it um you're kind of like oh why did they put that in but I think that in terms of characters this movie was really rich in that in that sense because um, I feel like now movies like you know what characters put there for like a specific reason and I feel like I kind of missed when characters just kind of existed for no other real reason other than i don't know just just to be <laughs> it's just more realistic to me to just have people coming in and out that really have nothing to do with yeah. me because <laughs> i'm just like yeah that's real life like honestly well it's like the hangout vibe of the neighborhood just they're chilling on their porch yeah. and it just shit just keeps happening in the neighborhood it's and so i'm like funny. it's it is it is it does bring that community to life and it does like what you were talking about with feeling like they wrote from experiences like you you get the yeah. vibe that okay this character is based off someone they knew then this character is based yeah. off someone they knew then and also the dad uh john witherspoon i i, I he's thought so funny. he's so funny and then he had such yeah. a great tender scene and i was like wow how'd they do this how'd they make him no, he's a great actor because he went from being kind of like ridiculous and you know like that kind of trope dad and then he actually had a real moment with him where i was like damn like this got deep but in a but you believed it. It wasn't like, uh, like it, the tone definitely went back to being serious. Like I feel like the tone in this movie, you could tell when they shot certain scenes, like they nailed it. I feel like, but yeah, just their well, direction. I, I felt like with the dad, like what you said, it was believable because it mm -hmm. it didn't feel like this isn't the same character all of a sudden, you yeah. know, because he's so wacky and so sketch comedy like, um, when he is just like vulgar and off-putting in, in the first. but i feel like you know what's funny i was thinking in the beginning 
the whole dynamic with the whole family, like, in the very beginning, I was laughing to myself because I'm like, this is, like, real life and how, like, family bickers, but you'll never see that, no offense, like, in a in a white movie like <laughs> it's always like honey i made you this really amazing breakfast and they're like sorry mom i'm gonna be late for school i'm like that doesn't i've never had that happen in yeah. my life <laughs> and it's like you're always just like talking shit to each other but like you love each other um and i feel like when white people write family it's just like not like that at all but i feel like that's just like more real the way they did it is like way more realistic for like siblings to like you know put each other down and shit but then they at the end of the day like they're still gonna you know be there for them and stuff so i i'm like it just was like refreshing to see that um and when when he was like oh he didn't understand why his mom is like married to his dad because he thinks his dad is like dumb and disgusting but then you have that really dark deep moment between them and you're kind of like okay that's like he's still a husband he's still like a good dude and he's been through shit and especially with that line when he's like oh i'm gonna beat you up like your dad he said get beaten up like you kind of understand why yeah his dad is the way he is and yeah, it's it true. Good. I did say that at the beginning, and then the movie answered it for me. <laughs> they actually, exactly. they exactly. actually brought it. And I, oh, you said it, not him. Okay, I was like, yeah, sorry, yeah. Sorry. Uh, no, I, mean, I, I said it at the beginning, like, why would you marry him? Like, and yeah, uh, yeah. and and then I, I, I ask myself that every time I see a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the villain, the Debo. You just saw Fifth Element, didn't you, with John? Yeah, 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 yeah. We watched it together. It wasn't Debo the president in Fifth Element. That's where I saw him from because I was like looking at him. I was like, I just saw him in something and I couldn't figure it out because he looks so. T- I feel like he looked very different. Was that? I think so. I need to look it up. Tom Lister. Uh, I think it's. His, okay. I mean, I think he's, I, here is credited as. Uh, I mean, I don't know if he goes by a Tiny Lister. I don't, I, it, it, that's, Tommy Lister Jr. That's who it is. I mean, he's he's been acting for like ages. You're right. He wasn't. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. I no, think he's got like such a uh, got like hundred credits to his name. This guy's done. He's a great actor. Two hundred twenty like, credits to his name. My God. Good for him, man. Wow. No, yeah. I thought when they when they had that moment sitting there and it was like this beat and I thought they were just gonna look at each other and like they were gonna try to get him to beat up the the guy who was asking for money, but he's. But, also in uh the dark night when uh with the boats at the very end with choosing the boats he takes really? the controller and throws it out the the window do you remember that scene at all yes you've seen what the dark a king night. yeah what a king <laughs> no that was a really 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 heartfelt moment in that movie like a, a moment of humanity imagine just having that booking that you know what i mean yeah in the dark night that's that's king shit right there this dude's for him. this dude's been acting forever. Oh yeah, and him and Chris Tucker are both in Jackie in Tarantino's Jackie Brown. I'm looking at his IMDb right now. This is kind of crazy. Wow. He, he's he was he was really effective too because he yeah. did ride that great line of like being funny but also being yeah. like just scary like scary. Just at, terrifying. I think yeah. the Jaws theme helped too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> little, true. Da, da, um, yeah. I don't know. That was a ride. That was fun. Yeah. It was this f- is like a movie you'd have on, like, if you're, like, you know, throughout the day, if you're just not really doing much, and you have this movie on, and you're just, like, hanging out with friends or something, like. A little baked. Having a good time. A little time. baked. I wasn't going to say it, but it was implied. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was that was a fun yeah. movie, and uh, I, I thought it had a little bit more poignancy than I expected. But overall, yeah. it was like an, an interesting. Just I like a good slice of life. I mean, usually slice of lives are like, you know, you mel- really me- boring. Mel- usually. Mel- <laughs> mel- <laughs> melancholic dramas is like, what they are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they can yeah. be depending on what it is. It can be boring. You made a good point though. I would have loved for him to uh, have eaten that cereal with the water and been like, "This is amazing." Yeah. <laughs> like, he was That's what I thought. Oh man. Oh, cereal when you're baked is the best. Fruity yes. Pebbles, man. That's my go-to. Fruity Pebbles. <gasps> I was going to say Fruity Pebbles, too. Yeah, Fruity Pebbles. That's my jam I just right got a, like, um, a new face, very expensive, like, facial serum, and it smells like Fruity Pebbles and Fruit Loops. Okay. So. That's interesting. I don't know if I'd want to smell someone's face smelling like Fruity Pebbles. I think it's... It you would want smell your better face than... to smell like Fruity Pebbles? I did have a candle I'd rather smell like, like that Pebbles. than Felicia. That's true. They didn't like Felicia. They were so mean. Was <laughs> no, they were so mean. No, but I laughed because like she got super close to him. She kept getting close, and he kept like moving away. And it's always people that smell or have bad breath that get like so close to you. Like when I worked retail, um, I don't know why. 
they, it's like almost like they just know you're you're like not into it. Fascinating, um, Sally. Fascinating. Yeah, there's something. Guys, you can check out Sally. Uh, she stars Very in a Texas Chainsaw Massacre short film. <laughs> I was in a Texas Chainsaw Massacre okay. like unofficial fan film, and um, yeah, I looked disgusting. So check it out. I feel like <laughs> like everyone on set was like the DP was like, "Not gonna lie, you look so gross." I was like, "Thanks." No, it no, no. Good, it was a good horror movie. It, it's it's the kind of it looked like you know, just repulsive, but that I will like, say. I cut up my legs. We did a drone shot, like running through the cornfield, and they didn't end up using it. They cut me out of it, and oh, well, it's fine. It's just, it's okay. I mean, I know why they did it. We have gone all over the place here, breaking down the dark night. It's how he short film. <laughs> <laughs> me running through a cornfield. I'll let you watch something. Yeah. The Fifth Element with John, where you get to, you know, have a pretty cool conversation and i'm like let's talk about space balls and friday <laughs> it's two <laughs> two very different oddball quirky comedies <laughs> so but yeah guys yeah. follow sally on her youtube channel and uh, she's got some fun stuff coming out and follow her on social media as well she does not post bikini photos not anymore i mean maybe i once no, got a, a major trouble once for do you remember that I remember that. Did that I do. I, I, I don't know why I like thought about it I the other day for some reason. Made a public joke and then oh man, I remember that big fight I got into. <laughs> right, right. Oh, that was some neighborhood Friday shit. Yeah, that Greg was showed like, up at my house a, and he like got bad, chewed out. I was out. like, damn, I and I got into this big argument. Oh man, it was so gnarly. <laughs> it was awful. Uh, oh man. I feel yeah. like I made amends with that person but i don't recall if i did now this is like this is like five years ago so i don't remember um, five or six. i don't think that person no offense is like relevant to our lives anymore like i don't give a shit but even I'm, if you did catholic and virgo guilt i i gotta i gotta resolve either. i gotta take care of the dramas of my past you know i i gotta tend mm. to unresolved arguments Anyway, yeah. she doesn't post those photos anymore, but here we are <laughs> talking about it. Thank you all well, for I'm being single here. now, so maybe I will. I don't know. That's I not was the trying way to be to do more it. modest. Uh, don't, don't don't lure with that. Or maybe. Whatever helps you get more followers. Are you being a dad right now? Are you like, don't post bikini photos? I, I mean, you can. Uh, don't. You know, I'm... Uh, Depends. No, you're like an older brother. You're like, please, I don't want to see that. <laughs> why? Why would you? What would be the purpose of doing it? Is it to to get more followers? To to find a, to get an attractive guy to, to? There really isn't. I mean, the guys in my DMs, uh, and they, it doesn't go anywhere. You know, so <laughs> a bikini pic has never gotten me anything. <laughs> really? No, I get a shit ton of likes. It definitely boosts my the algorithm, you know? Like, I know why girls do it, because it does get them, like, more likes and followers, but I'm like, what is that? If it's not money, I don't... You know what I mean? That's true. If you can't monetize your not, body, what's the point of showing If you're not you giving me money, like... I'm, and yeah. I'm not going to make an OnlyFans, so... Sorry about it. All, All right, right, guys. Thanks for being here. Catch you all soon. Have a great Friday. <laughs>